last week guys i gave you five trades to check every uh to check that week and those trades that i gave you was euro chf gbp chf nsd card nsd nsd usd and i gave you gbp card so what we'll do we'll drop a gbp card because it doesn't have a long term confirmation so we drop gbp card we'll do euro chf gbp usd nsd usd nsd nsd card and then i'll add you another pairs i will add you usd chf gbp nsd euro aud and i have added you aud chf on that previous video you have watched so this week we are checking on how many pairs one two three four five six seven eight we'll be checking on eight pairs i want to do analysis on these eight pairs meaning that you should focus on only on these pairs if you want at least to get money i don't say i'm not saying that you should trade all of these pairs i'm giving you an idea and I have filtered from 50 60 70 100 pairs that you have in the forex market so i have picked these eight pairs at least they have a very uh, they have a very uh, good uh, pattern they have a very good setup it is a clear a clear chart that does not have hidden tricks and that so we will discuss all of those in this video so that i don't keep on doing weekly analysis so we or weekly analysis video will be one video and a free signal so from the eight pairs that i have talked about i gave you AUDCHF to trade it so even if you don't choose everything you can just do AUDCHF on one like you can even enter on one uh, one pair one trade one position of the mi micro using micro micro lot of 0.01 this will help you. You are not risking your account. You're not over risking. Re note, always use proper risk management. Even if I tell you it's a free signal, note the signal that I'm giving you is a swing trade. The signal that I'm giving you here, it is a signal that you need to hold for you to get, to get results. And you see, we can enter today and by the time the evening we have hit TP, but it needs to be in your mind that this is a swing trade. I don't need to force it. It's just a swing trade. So let's get into it. I have said we are analyzing Euro CHF, GBP CHF, NSD, SD, NSD card because we had these pairs last week. And then I will add on USD CHF, GBP, NSD, Euro AUD. Already I've done AUD CHF, so I won't analyze AUD CHF. So let's, let's go back to Euro CHF. This pair I gave it yes, uh, last week. If you don't have this pair, you can still trade it. It's not too late. In fact, you'll be given at a discounted price. The reason for us to trade Euro CHF is simply because on the monthly time frame we have this double bottom. So I will not get into details because I have already done it in the previous lesson. This by this lesson 11. So Euro, CH, Euro, Euro CHF, the reason why we want to buy up to the half so our take profit for this pair is 97.53. So you can even put 97.50. So if you enter buy right now, and these are swing trades. Swing trades, I mean, don't babysit these pairs. Don't babysit this, uh, the pairs. Just be patient. It's 148 pips. Even if you target 100 pips, notice that Euro CHF, you don't need to babysit. You just place that one position. Put a take profit you can put take profit of 100 pips you can say i will target at 9700 at 9710 at 9720 whichever uh, you want just put it put a take profit and leave it alone so this is one of the pairs the reason is it's a double bottom gave us a bullish end gap and this candle is still a morning star meaning the market will push up and this is the first week was last week so we in the second week we don't know how second week will run we don't know if we will continue we'll push euro chf on the third week so you need to notice that of course euro chf it is the second week we are trying to trade it so euro chf this is the second week and yet no money we have gotten on the first week so it doesn't mean that the strategy is not good it doesn't mean that we will um we will leave it alone or it means is that it needs more time so euro chf is the second week if you want to trade it is on a buy 
take profit, I've said 97.53, you can target 97.100, 97.10, 97.20, 97.30, but don't go beyond 97.50. So that is zero CHF. Let's go to GBP USD and we see what we had. So GBP USD, you notice, guys, I even did a video and I was saying on the daily time frame, we had a, a, a double bottom that is only on one time frame. So our analysis on GBP USD are not weekly. And that is uh, sometimes if your analysis are not from weekly, you have to follow the time frame that gave you the pattern. So our pattern is not monthly, it's not weekly, it's on the daily. So we have this double bottom, but it's very clear. This double bottom is on the daily. Can you see it? So this is GBPSD. And you see, I will do this analysis quickly so that um, if you want uh, to go back to what I had said, you'll go back. So this is... Um, GBPUSD analysis from the daily and the market should go to 25. So our main target is 1.2568. And if you target 2,500, it is okay. But you need to understand on the on why you should trade it step by step. So this is the double bottom that is making us know that GBPUSD is a buy. If you go to the weekly time frame, we do not have that double bottom. So I want to show you on the weekly time frame. There is no double bottom. So the double bottom is very, very strong. Whenever a weekly time frame, you can't find a double bottom, but you can only find it on one time frame. That double bottom is very, very strong. And when a double bottom is very, very strong, higher chances of reaching 1.25 is very strong. So the only limitation, and I'm telling you here because I don't want us to be ignorant, you know, that my people perish for lack of information. <laughs> I don't want us to perish because of just more information. Many people are asking me, do we continue holding buy on GBPUSD or do we do we hold that buy up to 1.25? My thing is the same time frame that has given us double bottom has a, a possible double top. You see, this is a limitation. So when you are on this buy, you are assuming that this double bottom, that double top is not making sense. So as we will jump back on a buy, if that double bottom fails, fails to hold, this resistance has to be broken for us to know that, uh, in fact, the market will continue to buy. So what I'm telling you is that, yes, I had told you it is going to 1.25, but you see, analysis you have to do every time. Weekly analysis are good. Why? Because now you have a bigger picture. And you see, the pattern that we had was not from the monthly. If it was from the monthly, we hold for one month. But this trade was from the daily. So every day it's changing. So unless this resistance is broken like this, this market definitely it will go to 1.25. So have a little patient and wait. The, the candle, the Monday candle might break. So your work, I'm giving you an assignment. To wait GBPUSD to break the, the zone 1.267. If they break 1.27 or 1.270, let's that's the area you need to wait the market to break this zone. Guys, pay attention. And that's why I say you have to be following me. There's no way you can find I have given a signal and you think it's the end of it. You you need to keep following it up to know are we still holding GBPUSD? I will still hold it. If you had entered GBPUSD, remember GBPUSD we entered here. You guys, you think Forex is hard. We entered here because of the green candle. I told you if a green candle and got the red, enter by. If you entered when that video was being uploaded, already you have made, you made how many pips? 130 pips. You made 130 pips. What are you doing inside? So what we'll say, if they break this resistance, imagine a resistance of how many pips can mess you up. This resistance is a resistance of 53 pips. It can mess you up because this market can go down, break half, continue going down, break neckline, and the market reverses on us. So we don't want the market to reverse on us. What we will wait patiently is this resistance to be broken. So I will even upload or update on my Telegram group that we are waiting, GBPUSD wait, break of 22.70, P patient, if they break, you can now trade up to half. So GBPUSD, are we trading? No. So the first pair that I've analyzed, Euro CHF, you're supposed to be on a buy, that one hold. 
AUD, CHF, you're supposed to be on by those two, the analysis are coming from the mandrel. But when analysis come from the daily, things do change here and there. The market can hit a, a double top, can activate a new double top. It was a double bottom, it can shift. But now we need to understand that GBPSD is daily and it keeps shifting. So unless 2270 zone is broken, we are not entering GBPSD buy. So GBPSD, if you're in a buy position and you're watching this video, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to close the trade. Let's give it today. Let's give it this support resistance to be broken so that we can enter. Have I answered your question? Comment down below. Let me know, did you make money with GBPUSD? The signal that I gave here, how much did you make? And give us in dollars so that all of us can know how much you made. So if you made money with GBPUSD, comment down below. Let's go to the next pair that we did last week. I want to give you update on how to trade it. So we have GB NSD USD. NSDSD, we were trading a buy. We were trading a buy of NSDSD. And I, I remember giving you and telling you guys we have this double bottom only on the daily. So we have this double bottom. That was the main reason for us to enter buy. So I just want to give you an update of how to go about it. So we have that double bottom. It was very, very okay. And we cannot be ignorant of what daily is doing. As long as the pattern is not on the monthly, daily will keep changing. So we had that and our initial goal last week was 0 0.6188. But I want us to notice that as much as we are waiting for that goal to be achieved, what has been um, activated here, we have a ranging market. So guys, here we have a ranging market. That's what we have. We have a ranging market. And this ranging market, for it to be broken, let me reduce the opacity. For this ranging market to be broken, it is remaining how many pips? It is remaining 76 pips for that ranging market to be broken. So NSD, USD, note, because of this ranging market, and ranging market, can it can go down or up. For this ranging market, the only way we'll hope in on a buy, allow it to break that ranging market. Let us be patient. So GBPSD, NSDSD will be coming every day to check what is happening. Because this ranging market, as innocent as you're seeing it, it can break on the downside. Imagine us trading a buy and then NSDSD break on us downside. And you know, you know it will go that same distance. And I said, I will show you how to trade ranging patterns. So we are, are, we are just being careful of not trading a pattern that can reverse on us. So this, this pair can, can be a downtrend or an uptrend, can break on the downside. So this is what I was telling you. I trained two patterns, the ranging channel break at resistance, the ranging channel break at support. So why would we trade NSDSD? NSDSD is not appear to trade today or anytime soon, unless daily breaks. Are we clear? So NSDSD, you don't have a, you don't have a trade. If you are on this trade, you should be out. You should be canceling that trade. So are we clear? NSDSD and GBPSD, we are not trading until the market does what? breaks out. So let's go to an SD card, an SD card. And I think this is the last pair of last week. And again, an SD card and an SD, SD, they are identical. Their patterns are identical. They move the same. So we have that, we have that double bottom. And that's what was making us buy. And in fact, this market bought and we made money. If you made money with an SD card, of, I continue commenting down below. You can comment and say I made money with an SD card. So this is our half. We are hoping the market will go like 500 pips, but you can't again be ignorant of what is happening. So yes, we know that the market has a double bottom, but I want to show you something. On the daily time frame, which candle is this? If you are trading an SD, SD and you have an indecision candle, this indecision can make us, can make this market go back down. This indecision candle is what is making us not to enter this market. The indecision candle alone. And if at all, even we go on the weekly time frame to see what had happened, 
the market is at this resistance. So from, from the daily, it is not much clear because we have so many zones. We don't know if we target here. We don't know if we target this week, this week. So because of this indecision mark, indecision candle, we cannot continue buying. But if we go to the weekly time frame, all we need from NSD card, all what we need from NSD card is to break out of this resistance. So that resistance is very visible on the weekly. And then if we go to the daily time frame, let's see the resistance we want it to break on the on the on the on the daily it will be a bit higher so if they break that area again i'm telling you this market will buy if they come and break here they will buy so what i want you to understand is that for nsd card how many pips to that area to be broken 95 pips so because of this indecision candle we are not getting in if we go even to lower time frame like four hour if we go to lower time frame like four hour, the reason why i'm telling you it is not good for us to be thinking of um of buying again anytime soon is because sellers have started to broke. can you see sellers broke that support when sellers starts to break support it means what the market can either come here and create this double bottle. Imagine you can have that double bottle for us even to buy comfortably. So there are so many ways to approach NSD card uh, in terms of if this market drops that way, this double bottom will not be available or, or it will be avail available on the daily. So they can even drop, activate this double bottom so that now they can buy up. So we'll be checking where where which zone will this double bottom comes so we have this double bottom and also we have this double bottom we have even this double bottom here you see that red candle and then we come to the daily time frame and that's where we have so it won't be visible on the daily so pay attention on what nsd card will be doing we it can come down and create this double bottom. Once that, that double bottom is done, what we'll be looking on the daily is that neckline to be broken. So if this zone breaks on the on the four hour, it means the market is ready to buy. So NSD card again, we are not doing what? We are not trading it until it breaks. Either you wait on weekly, you have so many chances. Either you wait on weekly, that area to be broken, so weekly area to be broken. Those who want to be safe, save 82 10 to break. <clears throat> Daily, you wait which level to break? 82.56 to break. Four hour, you wait 81.95 to break. So at least, at least start with one break. So right now we can't enter. So let's let me introduce you to one pair that we have not even dealt with. I'm introducing you three pairs that we have not dealt with, USDCHF is our new pair that I want us to introduce. I want you to, to be introduced. So USDCHF, we're adding it on the, on the time frame. We'll start it from the monthly to see what is happening from the monthly time frame. So what USDCHF is giving me is that according to, according to um, monthly, the market has been a downtrend. So from 2022 last year, the market has been a downtrend. But according to price action, the market is a bullish. This candle is a bullish. And what you can see, we have activated a double top. So anytime the market has created a double top, we know what it means. Double tops, most of the time, they mean that if a market has given you a, a double top, you need WBB. Either it breaks half for it to give you an entry confirmation or something. So according to, U to USDCHF, we, we, we don't have a, a sell confirmation, but we can look for buy. This market can buy. So yes, we don't have a sell. And sell, you have to wait for half to break. So sell is not, it's not easy to sell USDCHF, but it can be easy to buy it. Why? Because of this momentum candle. Previous month, the market bought very well. So selling this market, it is going against the trend. Why? Because first of all, if we have to sell USDCHF, we need what? WBB, wait for red candle, put a box, all those things, wait for NGAL. 
So monthly, it's not supporting our sale. It's supporting what I buy. So when we go to when we go to USDCHF on the on the when we go to USDCHF on the weekly, guess what? So we have a resistance broken. We already know if one resistance break, the market will go to the next resistance. So there's so much potential for this market to buy up to that area. There's so much potential for the market to continue buying. But note, the same resistance that is breaking, I have taught you, it can be a fake out. This resistance breaking can be a fake out and the market sell sell according to monthly uh, double top. So that's what I was saying. One time frame can break, but on the monthly, there is no breaking. And I think we have done that. So on the monthly, this market can sell, completely sell well, and we'll be asking, why did the market sell and yet weekly it had broke? Because on the monthly, it didn't break and it activated a double top. So that one we are sure. And because we can't sell without knowing what will happen, let's go to the daily. Daily, I think, is what will give us a clue. So on the daily time frame, we have a, a double top these are double top. Now we are doing daily. So we have a double top. And if I want to see, does this double top appear on the, on the weekly? Let's see. Does it appear on the weekly? It does not. So this double top has power. So let's now focus on this double top. So this is a double top and this is the neckline. So note how we are saying. We are saying we cannot sell, comfortably sell because at the overall, monthly has a double top. So monthly is the final say about selling, but we can buy because monthly gave us a confirmation. So we this market, first of all, it does not have RBS. That is a first indication that that sell might not work. This double top might not work. Again, the market activated a small double top. So the first attempt, the market never engulfed. You can see this candle. The first attempt, they never engulfed because they were supposed to engulf for that sale to continue. The first red candle never engulfed, gave us an indecision candle. This is like a dragonfly. The market went up. And what now they did, they activated a new double top. So what, here there is a trap, guys. Here what is happening is that this new double top is what they will use. Now forget about the old double top. Why? Because they want you to focus, oh, this double top has given us even WVV, we are selling, what, what, because if you, if you didn't know this dub, small double top is powerful, you are blinded by the bigger double top, already you have been fallen, you have fallen to their trap. So what I want to tell you is that we cannot focus on this double top again. Why? Because we have a new double top. So this double top, we want to see is it available on the weekly? It is not. Can you see there are only two candles? So this double top is not available on the weekly. So it's a very strong double top that is on the daily. So this double top, where is our neckline? This is our neckline. Can you see? That's our neckline. So the question is, the double top, yes, it has even broken half. You can imagine when you are doing this uh, analysis and it broke half, on Thursday, I think this was, or was on Thursday, the half was broken here, around here. Imagine the whole of this candle, Friday was free money because the market entered up to, went up to half. So the question is, will our neckline, neckline break? Will this neckline break? Because the rule of double top is only one. If a neckline breaks, it will go this distance. So your attention is not weekly, monthly, your attention is this daily double top because this daily double top is what is sharpening our entry. So if that neckline is broken, if that neckline is broken, the market might go here. It will sell and it can go to the TP1 first, half of that, and then TP2. But you need to understand neckline is also a, like a support. So if neckline breaks, you need to ask yourself, did it activate a double bottom? Because it can break and still go up. That's why I was saying, you have to be very careful to come on four hour and notice there's nothing that is getting activated because it can break 
and then activate a double bottom around here. So you might be thinking you want to set to, to continue selling and a double bottom has been activated. Or on the weekly, it breaks on the daily, but there's nothing. At least on the weekly, there's nothing to be activated. So that's not a, a question. So the question here lies on what will happen on the daily. So here you just need to be patient. If this market breaks, if it breaks today or tomorrow, just sell, it is gonna sell. If this market breaks, it is gonna sell. If it fails to break, what do you think will happen? It will be a ranging market. If it fails to break, this market will be a ranging market and we don't know. The only way we can trade out if it breaks that channel. So we cannot trade inside here. A buy for us, the only way we'll know that this market is a buy if it breaks out of this zone. And that's what it will give us like a cup and handle. A cup and handle is when a double bottom, double top is violated. So I have dwelt so much on USDCHF. So USDCHF will be waiting. The question is, will it break the neckline? So you see, you do not have a trade there. It is still a trade to wait. And that's what I'm saying. Whenever a, a, um, you are given an entry, don't joke with it because this thing before entry comes, you have to have a much patience. So yes, this CHF, no entry. Let's go to GBPNSD. So GBPNSD, it is a very, very interesting pair. Why? Because according to GBPNSD, I was checking on the daily time frame, and on the daily time frame, you can see the market has done what? The market broke out that support. Can you see? We have a break of that support. Very clear. But I not, notice I told you, every time support breaks, go to lower time frame and make sure it has not activated anything. When we go to four hour, guess what? The four hour, when I was checking on it, it had activated something. So I was just squeezing the chart, zooming in to just see what might be happening on GBP and SD. So I was squeezing the charts to even find out what is really happening. And you see these things, you cannot force. The thing is, you cannot force a trade. You cannot force a trade. So this area, notice, there is this area we want to see, did it activate? So you'll come and zoom in this zone. We are coming to zoom this area. You see, we have two lines here. We have, I put two lines to see, did it activate? that double bottom. And you will remember I did analysis on GBPNSD, so I won't dwell on GBPNSD. I've already said how to trade GBPNSD. So go and check. I don't think, I don't, I can't remember which lesson is that, either lesson eight or something. Go and check. You see, double bottom was created. Double bottom was created. So this double bottom, the double bottom is created here. And on the daily, we are, we are seeing a support breaking, support breaking, but here a double bottom was created. That's how tricky uh, Forex is. Now, because double bottom was created on the four hour, we might think the pattern that has, has made this market not continue to go up is this double top. And when you measure this double top, you might think, oh, they have broken half, I will enter sell now. It is my time to sell. Let me tell you, the only reason why we are not selling this GBP NSD is because of, of when you go to daily, the double top that you're seeing on four hour, it is not the same as the daily. Daily has a different double top. The double top is there, four hour is here. So we will pick the higher time frame double top because it's the most accurate. So what I want you to understand even on GBP NSD is that if this double top has to work, if that double top has to work, we need to define our neckline. That's our neckline. And then we need to define our half. So for GBP and SD, this is what I, I need you to understand. For GBP and SD, it's either they break that half. Guys, it's either GBP and SD break that half for you to think of selling. So if they have not broken this half, don't sell. So if they break that half, you can sell. Again, this double top 
can turn to be a cup and handle. This double top can turn to be a what? A cup and handle. If this cup and handle breaks above, if this cup and handle breaks above, and breaking is this position, not at the week of the second attempt, the first one, which point? 2.053, that's what I'm saying. If they break with a green candle that way, just know that market is a, it's a buy, and it will buy how many pips? A lot of pips. Again, GBP and SD are doing what? We are waiting. You see, these pairs, before they give you sell, buy, hey, you'll have done a lot of analysis. So according to GBP and SD daily, that's the only time frame you are using. Because if you come to four hour, you can still use four hour because there is a ranging here. If the market breaks, break out of this ranging, if the market breaks out of this ranging, this market will buy. So it's a lot of patient, you apply patient. And as at the end of the day, if it breaks out here, it will come to this area. And that's the area we are saying, if it breaks, it's giving us a buy. So GBP and SD, you need to note, I think the safest is daily, use daily for entry. And how many pips are we waiting for the market to break? Let's see how many pips, 100 pips. So we will wait for us to see which direction the market will go. And the last but not least, Euro AUD. So we have Euro AUD here. So in fact, this week, it's about patience. The only pairs that are supposed to be in your MT4 is AUD CHF and Euro CHF. The rest we are waiting and I'll, I'll be updating as they give out because I am only analyzing eight pairs this week. I will not add any other pair. I'm comfortable with this eight. So the last is Euro AUD. Euro AUD is very interesting. Why? After forming this double bottom and failing to reach her, after forming, and can you notice many pairs have double bottoms? I don't know why. This time round, double bottoms are a lot. After forming that double bottom, the market has not yes, yet reached her. It has not yet reached half. So after forming this double bottom, the market has not reached half. What the market has done, it has given us a, 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 a new double top. So we have a forming double top here. We have a forming double top here. So this double top, we won't trade this double top. Oh, we trade it. If it breaks neck half, we trade it down. No. The only way we can trade this to be accurate, guys, we won't trade, we won't be waiting for Euro Audi to break half for us to enter. No, we are waiting for Euro Audi to break neckline of that double top. That's the only way we can know that for sure they have, they are strong. So Euro Audi, don't look for this half to be broken. Look for what point 1.6321 to break. So we will be looking for Euro Audi, avoid it unless they break this area, you see, that area, or unless they break this half. If they break this half, you're good to go. That market will proceed up. So it's because when they are breaking this, what, what do you think we have here? When they break this double top, let's see this double top. If, you th if they break this double top, we are dealing with cup and handle. We are not even dealing with the double bottom. They have already done. If they break this zone of, if they break this zone of 6650, we are no longer dealing with half of a double bottom. We'll be dealing with cup and handle and it will go this distance. So have patience, guys. It's either it breaks above and you see it is at the middle. It's either it breaks above or below. So the market will do that. Way. So for me, I will do very good analysis on all these eight pairs, and then I'll post them and it is your work to follow up. And when the analysis have, done, have happened, you just have to confirm. This is the longest video I've done. It's 34 minutes that can help you shape your week, can help you make a decision on what to trade. You, Euro audit will be a very, very interesting pair. Once they break here, it is no, it's just going to buy how many people? 323 so we really need a lot of patience thank you so much guys for listening i'll not do another weekly analysis now from here from tomorrow tuesday we are doing learning we'll be learning candlesticks we'll be learning support resistance time frame alignment psychology we'll do so much so monday it is analysis 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 
And then now from Monday, now Tuesday, all the way to Saturday is about learning other things. Thank you so much, guys. I hope um, these videos are helping you. If they are helping you, make sure you leave a comment and make sure you subscribe. Thank you and I love you.